Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends in our veritas backup exec series today i am going to demonstrate licensing because if you are really interested in learning or buying backup exec you must be aware that how exactly the licensing part work right as well as how exactly you can download trial version or license version from the official veritas customer portal site so all those three things i'm going to cover in this video so make sure you watch this video till the end do not fast forward or skip any of this part because this is you know the video which is very important which will help you to get the appropriate software so without further ado let's get started after this small intro video welcome back guys guys to understand the veritas backup access licensing we have to check the veritas licensing guide for the backup access okay so for that i have searched here veritas backup access licensing guide and when i'm scrolling down you will see backup access 22.0 licensing guide so this is what we need to open to understand the license in better way so in veritas backup access licensing guide if i just scroll down it will give all the contents what exactly mentioned or available in this particular guide okay so in the very uh, third page it's mentioned features and functionality which means the capabilities of the backup is this if you want you can just go through with all the uh, details or pointers which is available here right but better uh, you know just let me skip that but yeah you guys will have to read all the things very carefully because you all are learning pace right so i am directly jumping to the 17 page agent and feature licensing details so once you learn uh, the first page you can directly come to the 17 page and here it gives the proper information on what are the agents are available in backup access for the licensing the very first one is backup access server so this is our actual server okay which is available in included or you can say included in bronze silver gold so in all the license type this backup exist server is included because without this we will not be able to start our backup exist server and what it can do so all this information is mentioned here in the detail column the backup is just server manages the backup environment agent option and all tape disk cloud storage devices used for yeah. backup and recovery now if i scroll down and go for the second then you will find agent for windows so agent for windows is also you know they have also uh, compared with the uh, licensing like uh, where exactly yeah, this particular agent can be get okay so agent for windows basically protects files on local or remote server that are open and it use at the time of backup including data required for granular recovery of supported application and database simplified disaster recovery and converting backups into virtual machines guys don't get confused with this technical wording because everything will get clear by end of our this series okay so just uh, relax now if i scroll down more agent for vmware and hyper-v so uh, if you have vmware server or hyper-v server for that there is a different agent is available okay and what it can does all information is here mentioned similar way if you go to the deduplication then yeah for deduplication also it has mentioned everything i'm not going reading all the things library expansion option so guys by default you will be able to connect one type drive so if you want need to expand your libraries yeah you can go with this but yeah again you will have to consult with your virta sales guy was one okay so that they will be able to provide more accurate information because the things are getting changed time to time and i don't know when exactly you are watching this video so it always better to review all the information from the veritas official site and validate the same thing with once with veritas salesperson or your partner okay from where you are purchasing the license vtl unlimited driver option so here you can add n number of virtual tapes virtual tape drives okay agent for application and database so for you know different different portion or uh, you know things which you are backup different different agent is available and according to the licensing part is getting changed okay let me give you the one simple example you have active directory and you have installed agent for windows so it will be able to backup all your c drive d drive you know uh, registries everything but let's say one of the user has 
deleted by mistakenly from the Active Directory server, right? Uh, that particular user. So you won't be able to restore your Active Directory user. For that, you need to perform the granular level recovery, right? For that, there is a different agent available. So that is the reason you will need to understand this agent and the feature which is offer. This is agent for application and database, Microsoft Exchange Server support. Okay, so Active Directory support. So the, you know, uh, the example which I have given is applicable for this because here Active Directory is included. Microsoft SQL Server support, agent for application and database. So there is just so many uh, types of agents are available for Linux, Enterprise Vault. Okay, so you can, you know, analyze your organization that what are the servers are present in your or a company of which what are the critical servers which you want to back up okay accordingly you can note down the number of agents which you required okay so that you will get the proper understanding okay then once you note down all the uh, number of servers of which you want to take backup at that what are the agents you required from this list then what you can do you can go to the top and just scroll down okay let me show you okay and check out where exactly you are getting fault so that you know you based on your uh, calculation you will be able to map your number of required license with this licensing option okay there are a couple of you know uh, examples has been given vmware hyper v here your distributed application backup sharepoint enterprise vault so many options have been given so you can just compare your uh, environment requirement with this list so that you will be able to get the exact count that what are the license are required and how many then again bronze silver and gold edition so what are the things are included in bronze silver gold you will be able to find it here then if i again scroll down then here is the one more thing yep2b for instance okay so what are the bronze silver and gold contains so these are the information available so library expansion is available only one uh, it supports in, into the bronze edition and in silver you can go up to four and in gold unlimited so choose your options or license wisely otherwise you will uh, later on you will regret okay guys customer environment, uh, environment and needs so here also they have given the couple of more example so if, if this is a environment customer has then what exactly the license customer would have to purchase right read everything very much properly okay and this is the additional v edition customer edition where you get unlimited things right so just you know uh, validate your requirement and consult with your sales uh Virta sales team or partner company okay and let's say once you have shared all the requirement with your customer po has been signed and you got the license then from where exactly you can download right so for that you will have to go to the Veritas customer portal but before that let me show you if you just you know uh, exploring the things then how exactly you can start your testing for that you can simply go to the Veritas backup exists trial version okay click on the very first link fill all the information which is available here okay then click on download now you will get your software but if you are you know uh, valid customer which actually has the you know uh, actually purchase the software right then from where exactly you can download so for which i am just searching veritas customer portal click on the very first link and then at the right hand side you will see sign in option okay here we'll have to enter our username but before i enter username let me share you some more details guys before you purchase your you know uh, license okay make sure uh, if you already have the tape drives or whatever the operating system you which you have in your environment make sure you validate all the things with veritas backup like this so that you will get to know what are the things are supported and what are not and for that you can simply search for veritas supported operating system veritas let me let me just correct something here veritas backup exists 2022 supported operating system because this is the latest version open that and here we go 
software compatibility list, agent operating system, cloud workload backups, backup exist feature specific compatibility, everything is available here guys. Okay, software compatibility. Let me just open this particular uh, link as well. And if I go down, these are the manager information. See, Windows operating system compatibility. This is for the backup of this server. Okay, so where exactly you can install your backup of this server. Similarly, if you just scroll down, you will find different different operating system for Windows, Linux. Okay, so as per your organization, okay, uh, what are the uh, operating system you have you can just validate this with uh, this particular guide and then if you go to the uh, the link which I have opened right hardware and cloud storage compatibility here you will get the idea of what are the tape drives are supported so if you already have one of the tape drives with you then you can check whether it's supported with Veritas backup is this or not or you can plan for buying new one okay so let me just click on tape drive libraries and here we go library interface which uh, is supported everything is available guys ibm so the ultrium ibm ultrium 5 so along with the version okay and here you will get more information okay so make sure you check all the things which is available in this both guide okay which will help you uh, to un uh, check the compatibility before purchasing your software okay so that you accordingly you can calculate your budget now let me show you by logging into the our customer portal so that you will get more information how to download the license software as well as the license key okay so patch everything is available here guys so let me enter the credential first this is my username this is the password once you enter all the details click on sign in as you could see i am successfully logged into the customer portal now if you go to the products under this let's say we are checking for the backup like this right so let me click on that here you will get all the resource which you re uh, required to get start with the backup like this okay so especially i go into the documentation part see all the documentations are available okay whatever you required you just click on that or just search here okay you will get that document administrator guy license SL compatibility everything is available for all the versions okay but since uh, we are not going to here we'll just check how to download the software or the license okay so for that let me click on licensing part meanwhile it's loading let me close the other unwanted windows okay so guys this is our entitlement which means licensing window and it gives our complete information that how many license we have okay and if i go to the license keys then let me just scroll down it gives me the option to download all the software which i have purchased and here it will give me the entitlement id the account which means your company name on which the license is purchased the product name okay and then the license type when exactly the license has been generated product version quantity okay and the status whether it's active or inactive and then we can download the srf file srf file is the actual licensing file guys okay which uh, where you can simply click on here and then it will get downloaded for download also you have more options here let me just you know maximize this 90 yeah here we'll get all the options right you can download the license file print email uh, add the comments as well as generate the license so if you have multiple license like two three so how many licenses you want to generate so you can generate it accordingly uh, let me just maximize to the actual resolution yeah, now if you go again to the top then let's go to the download okay now we again come back to the normal screen earlier we went to that licensing and this time we came to the downloads so guys here i have desktop laptop option enterprise vault and backup with this license available with me okay and these are the veritas products of which these are the two products which i have purchased you can see eligible for download these two license has been expired now if i scroll down again you will see all the product information right backup exists so let me just filter it out backup exists 
बैकअप एग्जिस यम उत्तृष्टिपाय वर्क लोड साइजिंग टूल बैकअप एग्जिस माइग्रेशन असिस्टेंट बैकअप एग्जिस ट्वेंटी टू डॉट टू यम आर सो यू कैन गाइज सिंपली क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड बटन या एंड स्टार्ट डाउनलोडिंग राइट नो आई एम नॉट डाउनलोडिंग बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी हैव द सेटअप डाउनलोड विथ मी सो या दिस इज द यू नो क्विक ओवर व्यू ऑफ द कंसोल इफ इन केस यू नीड मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन देन प्लीज फील टू टाइप डाउन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स बिलो एंड आई विल डेफिनेटली रिस्पॉन्ड टू योर कमेंट Uh, for the documentation again you can go to the documentation part okay here here again you will be following to the same thing right but instead of here yeah. backup exec okay so this is how you can filter your things up so guys after a little bit of study from your end i believe you will be able to understand completely on the licensing part that how many uh, agents are available and and which agent does what okay and when exactly those agent has to be used for backing up respective data on the server right like for agent file uh, file server or your active directory exchange or database so you can choose your respective agents then how to download the trial version and then how to download the license keys of your backup in the server and just to give the idea guys during the installation of backup like this if you don't in enter any license key then your backup like this server runs for the 60 days okay in a trial mode so you can you know install the backup like this agent or backup like this server start backing up your data and after 15 days one month if you found this product is useful then you can again reach out to veritas or your uh, veritas partner to purchase the license key so guys that's it in this video i hope you have got a chance to learn something new with this video if yes then please give me a thumbs up if in case if you still have any question queries then feel free to type down in the comment box below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please consider subscribing and enable bell icon so that you will never miss my future video notification so that's in this video This is Sohan signing out I'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye